everybody. Let's get started. I'll just quickly find you all on my iPad. go and look at that beautiful sunshine behind me today it's lovely isn't it right so let's make a start happy thursday everyone one day until the weekend which is amazing another week that's gone past and a week closer we are to coming out of lockdown here which just feels incredible right now we've had some gorgeous weather this week i've caught up with a friend for coffee and last night we saw the new 2021 to 2022 annual catalogue and it is amazing you'll love it I'm um, so excited to show you, but I can't show you just yet. Um, I'll be pre-ordering catalogues on the 1st of April. So if you're not on my mailing list already and would like a catalogue, please let me know your address and I'll get you added. Um, catalogues will go out as soon as I've got them. Um, and yeah, can't wait for you to see it. With the new catalogue obviously comes some news that some of our lo much loved favourites from the current catalogues will be retiring. Um, which means they're now only available while stocks last. Um, so I have shared a few links to that. And this morning I've shared some of my retiring favourites. There's some amazing bargains to be had there. I think one bundle at the moment, if you per you could have purchased it as a bundle yesterday for about £45. And I think you can grab it this morning for about £20. So just amazing. Um, so do check those out. Beware that items will start to sell out very, very quickly now. Um, now that people know they're going um, so if you've got something on your wish list that you're desperate for make sure to order it nice and early so this morning i'm going to do a little bit of 3d crafting with you i feel like i don't do a lot of 3d items it's more cards and i'm always asked for 3d instructions for things so i thought on thursdays i'd try and bring you a 3d item if i can um, and i hope you like it so we'll get started i've used some retiring favorites this morning um, and I've used some current stock as well, so I hope you like it. Um, and I'll make sure afterwards to add all the measurements to the post so you've got them handy to make your own at home. So let's make a little start. Just move my camera around. Okay, so here we go. I've got a little re remainder bit of my tea. Um, and these are what we're going to be making this morning. I'm still using my grid paper from last night. I hope you don't fine you, you're not too bothered by that but i thought it's only got a little bit of ink on it hasn't it so we've got a simple card this morning um with our cute little easter bunny from springtime joy um nice papers and colors and then i've got this cute little 3d milk carton like so so you could probably get a couple of little easter eggs in there maybe a little maltesers bunny um but it's a really cute size and it looks really sweet Okay, so I found the measurements for this on Pinterest. Um, the measurements were actually in French, so it was a lot of fun trying to interpret them. Um, but I managed it this morning. So let's make a start. So for our little milk carton, you need two pieces um, of card and DSP. So my card is Granny Apple Green, and it's for the base of our box. And my designer series paper is the True Love designer series paper. It's available in the mini catalogue at the moment. And it will be retiring when that finishes in June. So we're going to make that today. So the measurements that you need for our cardstock base, this measures 21 centimetres long by 8 centimetres wide. And our DSP measures 7 centimetres long by 22 centimetres. Sorry, 7 centimetres wide by 22 centimetres long get my words out this morning we won't get somewhere i will put all the measurements for this up on my um up on here afterwards for you so don't worry if you didn't quite catch that so we're going to start by making the base and i'm going to use my trimmer with the scorer here so we're going to start by scoring along the long edge first okay and quite simply we're going to score in five centimeter intervals okay so we've got one at five, score at 10, score at 15, and score at 20. Okay, now we're gonna turn that round so we've got the short edge at the top, and we're gonna line it up at three centimeters, over here, and 
and score. Okay. So we have our little tab at the end, which is what we use to stick it together. And then we have our four panels and then that strip at the bottom is for the bottom of our box. Okay. For our designer series paper, we're going to pop it in our trimmer again. So we've got that long edge at the top and we're going to start by scoring at one centimetre. Now, when I score at one centimetre, I like to use the measurement over here. Okay. I'm going to line that up at one centimetre and score. Now I'm going to turn it round so that one centimetre is on my left hand side and I'm going to score it at 5.3 this measurement here now needs to be 5.3 centimetres. So we've got a one, so we're going to line it up at 6.3 centimetres and score. Then we're going to go to 11.6, 16.9, and that's it. Okay. Turn it round. I'm always turning to the left for some reason. So we've now got the short edge at the top, and we're going to line that up at one centimeter and score and then we're going to turn it all the way round and we're going to line it up at two and a half centimeters from this edge and score okay so we now have these lovely measurements okay so we can put that to one side we no longer need our trimmer and I've tried to cut everything down before I've gone live just to make it a little bit easier so now the trick with your 3d items is to give your score lines a really good crease with your bone folder you get a much smarter finish and everything stays together quite nicely okay so this is the bottom of our box so we're going to cut a few pieces off so I'm going to start by cutting into this little bottom section and we're going to cut that off all together now, rather than cutting on my score line, I'm notching in a little bit. Okay. Again, I think it just gives you a little bit more of a uh, cleaner finish. And I'm doing that to all four of my strips. Okay. And then notch into that end one as well. So we now have the basis of our box. I'm going to fold this little piece over at the end and I'm going to stick on some tear and tape, double sided tape, all off the back. Here it comes. Okay. And then I'm going to bring this bit over, the end over to meet like so. So that is the basis of our box, okay? Now, the area at the back where you've got your attaching line, that will be the back of our box. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna fold my two sides in. I'm gonna fold my front in, sorry. I'm gonna fold my back in and then I'm gonna fold my front in. So what that means is when we've got the front of our box, we've got lovely score lines as opposed to attaching lines, okay? So now I'm going to, have to add a little bit of tear and tape. Good morning Bev, no worries. Lovely of you to join us this morning. Okay. And then attach that like so. Give it a turn over and then just stick that down. Now that bit there that's obviously folding up, I'm just going to attach a little bit of wet glue inside just to fold that little bit down so there we have the bottom of our box okay so we can put that to one side and now we can make the top part of our box so to start with let's give those score lines a good crease and we actually need to do a couple of extra score lines but we're going to use a pencil and ruler for that So the score lines that we're going to now need to make is this 
triangle fold score line in there you can close it just by pushing it all together but this is just a way of getting a really crisp finish on your box okay so before we stick anything together you're going to need a ruler and i'm going to use a red pen um, because i just find it easier to see and i've got a scoring tool here this scoring tool comes from the simply scored um, product so the top part of your box is the bit with the one with the one centimeter fold so what you're going to do is on that first panel next to your one centimeter piece you're going to fold the two score lines over so they meet to find that middle point in that score line okay and then you're going to make a little red dot at the bottom of where that score line meets no one will see this okay so i've made my little dot there and then i'm going to score diagonally down with my ruler and my score tool to this score line here okay and do the same the other side so find where that score line meets and it's actually tricky to do on designer series paper but it is worth it i promise and then you're going to miss the next one and then do the same on the third panel so find your middle point make a little red mark or a pencil mark I struggle to see pencil on dear on a series paper which is why I find red a little easier on my eyes okay. and then score down like so And then what we're going to do is just fold those score lines like so. and don't worry about using your bone folder because what you don't want to do is tear the paper so we're just going to be quite gentle with this okay and then now we're going to fold our little one centimeter flap over at the end and you don't cut anything off of this piece pop on your tear and tape it's not long enough and then bring your edge over to meet like so okay and then what you have these little score lines now you're going to push them in see them for looking now so when you now push that in it folds the box up nicely and you get a really neat edge in there like so and that just sits on the top of your box now you can close that however you like I've used one of the mini clasps that are available in the mini catalogue right now they're really handy and that is our little box finished um, created sorry we just need to add a little bit of decoration so for our decoration, I have used the classic label punch, which is here. That is retiring. They will no longer see that in the new annual catalogue that's coming. I've used a sentiment from the Well Said stamp set. This stamp set here. This is also retiring, so get that while you can. Um, and for this, I'm going to use a little bit of embossing cardstock is granny apple green okay, so I'm just stamping that on there adding my embossing powder I'm using white embossing powder I love this punch too Janine I'm really going to struggle without it but we'll find a way um, and I think that's what it's all about you get so used to using certain products that actually once you've had the new one for a while you almost forget what you did before um but yeah love that punch it is retiring so it's available while stocks last and i think it is 17 pounds so it's not discounted um but yeah get that while you can if it's on your list so for this i'm going to punch out my label and i want it to be so that that word, that sentiment, is towards the right hand side. Okay. 
and then this we're going to pop on our box lid slightly bigger one on the big message diet brilliant that's good to know okay so i'm just going to pop that on there like so and i want it to be off the edge slightly this side okay so that is like so and now for my flowers i've used the small balloon punch this small balloon punch is retiring it was 12 pounds it's now seven pounds 20 so an absolute bargain um and then i'm just going to punch out a black one and a white one okay so small balloon punch really handy it coordinates with the basket of bloom dies no basket of bloom stamp set which is also retiring so to make these slightly shaped i'm using the tip of my tombow just placing the flower in the palm of my hand and giving it a little turn and it just adds a little bit of shape to those lovely flowers so you can just see that like so okay so to the center of those i'm adding a couple of rhinestones so i'm using some rhinestone basic jewels on the black and i'm using a matte black dot on the white okay neither of those are retiring you will see both of those in the new catalog in may so let's just add a little bit of wet glue to add these on. Okay, so that is the basis of our little little milk carton box. Really like that. And then we have our card to go with it because you can't send a little treat box without a matching card, can you? So nice quick card. This is a four, this is a 10 centimetre square card. So I'm starting with a piece of thick basic white that measures 10 centimetres by 20 and scored in half at 10 centimetres. Okay. I have two layers of paper to put on. I have a piece of granny apple green and that measures nine and a half centimetres square. that on so there's a little border around the edge and then my designer series paper from the love you always sweet I think it's called is going to go on as well so this is nine centimeters square so I've just taken that measurement down by half a centimeter every time okay then next we have our little bunny and I'm going to stamp that bunny onto some basic white card. And it's just regular basic white. I find that best to use with our punches. Give that a little stamp. And then I'm using the two and a quarter inch punch to punch that out. This is another one of our retiring favourites. This will not feature in the new annual catalogue not on sale so you can buy it until stocks last for 17 pounds hmm. lovely cup of tea and i'm going to color her in so i'm using for the body crumb cake so i'm starting with the light i'm just going around the edge and I'll bring some of the colour in. Really nice colour for this bunny. So move my hands back a bit. I can feel my legs getting rather warm. And then adding a little bit of shading where I think there will be shading. like so and then going back over with the light i'm just going to go over where those lines meet just to blend those two colors together okay, now for the rest of her i'm just going to go over 
with the light and then you'll notice on this one she's quite light in the center so I'm going to use my color lifter and I'm just going to add a little bit of shading take out some of that color in the center so that will lighten you can see that lightening now okay and then for the flowers I'm going to color the leaves in with a bit of light granny apple green and then for the flowers I've got light nope I've got dark so saffron Adding a little bit of dark to the centres and then for the actual centres of the flowers I've just got a black oh, that one's got the whistle out now to call him back a little black dot so you can see the centre of our bunny is now nice and light and then we can pop her on her on our card I'm adding her with some dimensionals, like so. And then for our sentiment, I'm going to do a little bit more heat embossing. So this time I have Happy Easter, and this comes from the Arranger Wreath stamp set, which is retiring. Um, it will disappear at the end of May. Um, Sorry, at the end of April and it will not feature in the new annual catalogue so grab that while you can and then just gonna add a little bit of white embossing powder I did think originally to add black and white embossing but I really enjoyed the green on this card so I thought let's do white on green shall we Okay. Now for this, for my banner, I've made my own banner as such, so I'm just cutting at an angle. Oh, Sandra, that's really sweet. Sandra's just put, sat watching with my two-year-old grandson. He just said, wow, amazing. Oh, Sandra, that's really sweet. Thank you. What lovely memories you're making right now. Okay, so then that's just a little angled banner. Nice and simple. And add that with a dimensional. And then to finish, we're just going to cut two more of those lovely flowers. One. And two. And I'm going to pop these on first, actually. So I've got one. And then two. I think this is one of those cards that you could choose any colour, any image, and it would look lovely okay and then our little dimension our little um, dots i've got matte black dots for the white one and i've got basic rhinestones for the black one so that's our card front finished and then all I've done with the inside is I've put in two other layers of card just to thicken it up because it's quite a thick feeling card. So we'll start with the green. Like so. And then we'll add the white. Because this is quite a small card, I've left the centre blank so you've got a nice space to write your message in and there we have it so we've got our little Easter card with our springtime bunny and then we've got our little milk carton box with that matching designer series paper 
Um, I only had one clip left, hence why there's only one clip on that box. But you could easily close that with just a glue dot um, or maybe pop a little um, hole punch in there and tie it with some ribbon. Okay, so I'll pop all the measurements on this post straight after we finished. Um, like I said, some of these products that I've used, or almost all of them, will be retiring um, at the end of this current catalogue. Um, so do go on and have a look at that. Um, be sure to place your orders quite early, so because products will start to sell out very, very quickly now. Um, and that's it for me today. So I hope you enjoyed that. I've loved spending a little bit of time with you this morning. Um, I've got a busy day today of filming for some card classes I've got coming up. Um, and then I'm working this evening. So a nice governor's meeting to end my Thursday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, I'll be live again here at half past eight on Sunday evening. No, I lie. It is three o'clock on Sunday because I've got another engagement on Sunday evening. So I hope you can make it. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the products or techniques or you've got a question about placing an order, please let me know. Um, I'll be available on my PC all day today. So I'll be able to come back to you quite quickly. Um, have a great day and I hope to speak to you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.